something and I told myself I would not do. Guys, I did it. I just bought it. Welcome to Moto's Cades and Coffee. Yo, good morning. Welcome to Moto's Cades and Coffee, a channel that's focused on all things coffee, motorcycles, arcades, and pinball. Today, we're heading up to Baltimore and I'm doing something I told myself I would not do. I'm gonna go consider buying a multi-cade, a converted multi-cade. See, listen to me. If you haven't seen my channel, I posted a, a, a video here of a rare arcade cabinet, a Galga 88 by Atari. They only made 136 of them. And this one, this cabinet's in really good shape. I found out one of my old local haunts that I like to go to. They wanted a thousand bucks for it. It's really not worth a thousand bucks in my opinion, even though it's that rare. We'll see if I can get a little bit better deal on it. The boards themselves go for about that. So the good news is, well, they multicated it, which is bad news. The good news is Galaga 88 is a JAMA board. So it should be as simple as putting a brand new Galaga 88 PCB right back in and the architecture's all in there. So hopefully I can do a little wheeling and dealing and let's see if we can make it worthwhile to go pick up this arcade game. All right, for those of you familiar with Baltimore, it's no secret where I'm at. That place there is pretty cool. I love uh, going around here and taking a look. Um, all sorts of cool industrial stuff around here. But, besides the history, let's go in and see if I can make a deal on that arcade game. And there it is, guys, off to the right. And what I don't know is that lady right there saw it and on a whim said, Hey, I'll give you a thousand bucks for that game. So she's going to go turn it on. And I have to go beg with her and plead with her not to buy it right now. Guys, I did it. I just bought it. It wasn't the uh, $1,000 that uh, they're asking, but I got the key. It's not far off from that. Am I kicking myself? Oh, yeah, come on. Sorry. <laughs> when I can get her on video here. But I did not pay the $1,000, but it wasn't that far off. But it's such a rare machine that I had to do it. So now we're going to get it home. I got to get a, a board, Galaga 88 board. It is set up for JAMA, um, so that's good. So let's go pay for this game, and uh, we'll get a once over and you'll see. All right guys, there it is. It's in really nice shape, There's only slight damage on one of the stickers there. I may try and paint that or not, we'll see. I'll clean it up a little bit. I just put a video on how to clean an arcade game. Atari. We'll get this uh, paid for and on the way home. <sighs> Ouch. But still good. One more little story on the way home. Um, so as I was going to, to make my price, there was a woman who said, just spur of the moment, said, I want to buy it. Thousand bucks, here it is. And I'm like, no, no, don't buy it. I'm like, I'll get you a multi cade I'll put it in a Pac-Man cabinet. I'll put it in the cabinet that you want. I'll get you a sit down. I'll make you a multi cade Don't buy this one. It's it's pretty rare. She agreed. Really cool. So I'll make her a multi cade uh, 16 one. And and but because she also wanted it. I did not get the price that I wanted. I was trying to half price a thousand bucks. Didn't come anywhere close to that. I just paid a scotch under a thousand. Is it worth it? Probably, but maybe for just preservation purposes, make sure it doesn't get lost in the shuffle. Now, I did ask where they got it from and the manager there got his receiving man and the receiving person said, that they got it in the state out of New York, and that's all he had. So uh, that's the history of the game. That's where they got it from, and on the way home, and now to go find a Galaga 88 PCB and deconvert this back to the original. All right, guys, that's it. Please like and subscribe. Put a quarter in, play your Galaga 88, enjoy it. We'll catch you on the next episode, and thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.